Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Scentsy warehouse or flash sale haul. Scentsy, as you know, I am an independent Scentsy consultant, and Scentsy does these flash sales or warehouse sales every once in a while where essentially they bring a lot of things out from the vault, things that maybe didn't sell as well, or things that they just really want to move inventory of for one day. Typically, us consultants find out about 24 to 48 hours in advance what they're going to be and not like what's in it, but when the sale's going to be. And I got onto my computer five minutes before it happened and was able to snatch up a lot of things. They had a lot of individual bars. They had a lot of warmers and they had a lot of bundles. So what I decided on was I got six cents, four of each, and then I got two different bundles, two sets of each. So I have four bundles and six fragrances here. I did not opt for any warmers. I feel like when you're in that frenzy of like flash sale or warehouse sales, I don't always go for warmers because I don't have a ton of space for warmers and where all my warmers are, it takes me a while before I commit to a warmer because with a wax bar, like, ah, am I going to like it? Well, there's one. If I don't like it, it's no big deal. But a warmer, like, I want to like it. I want to love it, you know? And if I just have it because I like it, I've been into that mentality a lot lately. Like, there's some warmers. Wow, I really like that. But it's not fitting my home style. It's not fitting my decor style. So realistically, I'm not going to purchase it for myself because I'm never going to put it out. And it's not doing any good sitting in a box, not getting used just because I like the way that it looks itself. Because essentially, I could just look at the pictures online or look at it in other people's homes than having it sit in a box in my own home. Anyway, that was my little introduction. I have a lot of wax to share. So without further ado, let's get into it. I think we will start with the individual bars. So the first scent that I picked up are four of the Huckleberry and Clementine bar. It's this really pretty purple bar. And the notes on this read, Huckleberry preserves Clementine and a sprig of strawberry vine. Now, I love Huckleberry. I think Huckleberry is a really great end of summer, early fall transitional scent because it is a berry, but it has a little bit of a warmth. It almost leans more jam-like. But when I smell this, that strawberry vine comes out first and foremost. Almost more that in the Clementine more than the Huckleberry. Huckleberry's almost in there as like a rounder out fragrance because the strawberry vine, if you smelled coastal strawberry, it smells much more like a green, not quite ripe strawberry on the vine than it does like a juicy strawberry jam. And even on the description, this says strawberry vine. And it definitely is. This to me is going to be that perfect. You're opening the windows because... It's not 100 degrees outside, and it's also not 40 degrees outside. It's like that 50, 60 crisp morning in the fall where you want something beautiful, and I think this is going to be it. For me, it's going to be that really crisp, fresh morning fragrance. I love the light fruitiness in there, and I think when you open the windows a little bit in your home, you truly get like a better fragrance because you're getting that little bit of airflow that's circulating in that fragrance throughout your house. So I'm super excited to start melting that in that late summer, early fall. Next, I have Quiet Clementine. This is from the Huga collection. Uh, I never actually ordered anything from this. This is a couple years old, but it is a newer pour because we do have the scent categories on the bottom of the clam there. But anyway, I picked up four Quiet Clementine, and this one is Sweet Orange, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood make a tranquil stand against a busy mind. This is very different. I was not expecting it to smell like perfumey, but that Vanilla Orchid and Sandalwood are definitely in the front runner of this scent. The Clementine is there. It's a very light citrus. This almost reminds me of like if you went into a spa and they had like a citrus massage oil because everything in a spa has that like underlying like very zen very orchid floral fragrance that's definitely what it smells like in here 
It's really pretty. I think this will be a really good relaxing bedroom scent. I was hoping for this to be like um, a kitchen fragrance with like the bright citrus, but it definitely leans more mellow, soft, perfumey orchid. It's, it's very interesting. Not what I expected at all. Next, I picked up four Darling Dahlia. I was really excited for this one. This is Heirloom Peach, Bashful Dahlia, and Strawberry Sweeten the Deal. This is pretty. This is definitely like a light, perfumey body care. Mm. Do I get peach and strawberry? Yes, but it's not like the juicy peach and juicy strawberry. It's definitely leaning more towards the, the conceptual, the floral, the body care type of fragrance, which I'm not mad at. I was just expecting it to be a little bit more juicy with that fruity dahlia, but it's pretty. I also love the color of the wax, so excited to melt that one. Now, this is one Lisa Roberry has talked about so much and has been so excited to come back, and it was in the warehouse sale, so I picked up four bars of Peach and White Amber, I was really excited for this one. And this one reads, Turn heads and hearts with provocative peach, sugar blossoms, and white amber. This is really pretty. This is definitely... I can see why she's been wanting it to come back for a Bring Back My Bar. It doesn't smell like anything Scentsy has. At all. Like, when you think of the peach that was in the Darling Dahlia, when you think of peach that's in, like, the, what was the one peach? The Plumeria peach? That was more of like a juicy peach. This is really pretty. You're definitely getting the sugar blossom and the white amber. If you know the sugar blossom from the Fall and Winter catalog that's right now, how it's more of a, like a sweet nectar flower, just a very light sweetness. I'm getting a lot of that vibe in this. White amber versus like, um, regular smooth amber is more, amber to me is a more nighttime fragrance, a more warm, a more heavy fragrance, where this white amber brings it to daylight, it it lightens it up, it airs it up, and that, mixed with that, is beautiful. It's really, really pretty. I'm excited to melt this. This is another, I feel, really good bedroom fragrance. The next one I picked up for of was Pink Tulips. This one I have always seen things on, but never purchased the lighting right now. Pink Tulips. All right. As one of spring's earliest blooms, tulips jumpstart its journey to the new season. Treasure this groundbreaking blossom in a fragrant homage ex accented by crisp apple, juicy raspberries, and a hint of night-blooming jasmine. So it doesn't even have tulip in the name, but... This is pretty. This is like a fresh apple. Ooh, this is really pretty, actually. This is like a fresh, crisp apple. What is it says crisp apple? Raspberry and jasmine. Ah, jasmine, yeah, like a white floral. Definitely a light white floral. But definitely like a fresh apple and raspberry. This is really pretty. This is definitely like a Bath & Body Works apple body care. I think this will be really nice in a bathroom. This will be really nice in, like, a powder room. Maybe even in an office to, like, lighten up the space. But I'm definitely going to hold on to these bars for next spring. I think they'll have a lot of good cure time, and they will be nice and strong in the next spring. Next, I picked up All You Need Is Love. Now, I've heard a lot of great things about this, so I wanted to pick up five bars of that, or four bars of that. And this one reads, "Sweet Whisper Sweet Nothings with Coconut Sugar, Creamy Vanilla, and Bing Cherry. Now, I'm not a coconut fan, and I'm not a cherry fan. But this is really pretty. This is like... This is like a coconut buttercream. That's exactly how I would describe this. And look how, like, yellow the clam is. Like, this is a juicy bar. Not, like, it's not physically juicy by any means, but it's, like, heavy with oil. Oh, this is, like, a coconut bot bot I was going to say body butter. A coconut buttercream for, like, a cupcake or a cake. This is really pretty. I don't smell any cherry. The creamy vanilla and the coconut sugar are just blending to be this, like, beautiful frosting. Yeah, this smells like a coconut buttercream. That's 
really pretty. I think this will be a great scent for the living room, a great scent for the kitchen. Oh man, I'm really impressed by this. I was not expecting it to be that great with the coconut and the cherry and things. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, all you need is love. Yes, yes you do. All you need is a little love. And this is it. Oh, that is so yummy. Ooh. All right, well, I just dropped some bars on the ground. I'm gonna go put these away and I'm gonna move up my bundles. All right, so I picked up the Bake That Wax collection and the Harvest Blessings. Harvest Bundle, Harvest but I know one of the names is Harvest Blessings. I can't remember exactly. It was like the Fall Bundle. They're all mixed up here. So I'm just gonna dive in. I have two of each bar. Some I was excited about and some I was like, I'll melt them, I'll gift them. Yeah, we'll mix them, we will see. All right, first off in the bundle, we have Pumpkin Marshmallow. These are mine, these are my babies. I am one of those crazy ones that love pumpkin marshmallow. Now, pumpkin marshmallow s says, sticky sweet marshmallow spooned on top of fresh baked pumpkin and wrapped in a graham cracker crust. This is so good. You either love pumpkin marshmallow or hate it. I love it. This smells like a true guts of a pumpkin with gooey marshmallows on the top. That's it. I don't get graham cracker crust. I get that sweet pumpkin gut, like you ripped it out of the gut, out of the pumpkin in the middle. Oh, it is that sticky, sweet, like fleshy pumpkin. And I know that freaks a lot of people out. I love this. I wish this would come back. It would go in my club in a heartbeat. I love pumpkin marshmallow. It is phenomenal. Next, oh, I know this was a sensey heartbreak for a lot of people. Hom honey pear cider. Honey pear cider. Honey Pear Cider, there we go. Honey Pear Cider reads, just looking down my list. Oh, the scent of pure autumn bliss, fresh juicy pear and sweet honey together with subtle hints of spices. And yeah, this is beautiful. This is just a sweet, crisp pear with a little bit of those mulling spices, a little um, honey, sure. It just adds a little bit of a sweetness. This is pretty. If you like an apple cider warm fall fragrance, I would try this. Well, you can't try it because it's gone. But anyway, if you got the bundle, you know. Next, we have warm pumpkin drizzle. I actually think I still have like eight bars of this because this was a scent of the month kit, I believe. Warm cloves, comfort cozy pumpkin, and a drizzle of sweet maple syrup. Yeah, this is not my favorite pumpkin fragrance from Scentsy, but I'll melt it. It's definitely like that warm pumpkin. It has a definite thick end of maple, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But if you like maple scents, I think you would like this. It's just definitely like more of like a sweet pumpkin. Almost, I was going to say pumpkin waffle, but it doesn't smell like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's like a, like a maple sugary pumpkin, so... We have that one there. Next, this is what I know I didn't want. <laughs> I didn't want brownie batter, but it was part of the bakery bundle. This one is rich, heavenly notes of baked brownie, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean will set the stage for some serious cravings. It smells just like brownies. Oh, oh, it smells like, like Duncan Hines, like brownie batter, like truly brownie batter. I don't really like chocolate fragrances when it comes to wax. So this will either be gifted or mixed or I will find something to do with it. Next, we have Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. I don't ever remember trying this one, I, ever. Um, and this one reads, cinnamon sticks, warm buttery maple on top of a mountain of whipped sweet cream. And I think it's because of cinnamon sticks. Oh, this is like red hot cinnamon. Like those true like cinnamon stick. Like you go into a craft store, cinnamon. Oh, and it is very buttery. Mmm. Okay, this is not me. This is not me. Mm -mm. I, I can see why I didn't buy it. Or maybe I had a tester or something. I don't know. Mmm. Yeah, it's definitely buttery cinnamon stick. If you like those thick scents like that, try that. Not my jam. 
Next, we have Harvest Blessings right here. Don't love the name, but radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. It, but it is such a pretty scent. It is, what does this remind me of? Autumn Wreath from Yankee Candle? This reminds me of a Yankee Candle scent. It's really pretty though. I've had it before. Oh, th this, is, this is totally getting me in the mood for fall. This one right here. Apple, pumpkin, and oak wood. Yeah, I mean, it smells like you're at a craft show and they have the wreaths and there's somebody making like wood sculptures. You have that crisp autumn air. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I wish fall was here and not 100 degrees. <laughs> this perfect pumpkin pear. I already know that people don't love this. Fall fresh pumpkin and crisp golden pears mingle with breeze drifting clothes and sandalwood accents. I believe this is the one that people say smells like baby vomit. Uh, I don't think I smell baby vomit. But I definitely prefer very peri pumpkin than this. Like, they're definitely not the same scent at all. I think that the pear note in here is more like a pear baby food. Not baby, did I say baby vomit? Baby food, not baby vomit. I can see, like, it is like all of these ingredients are just put through a mill and mushed into one fragrance. So, we have a very peri pump, or perfect pumpkin pear there. Next, we have Sweet Cream Spice. Now, this I was very interested in. This is vanilla bean and nutmeg swirled with frothy milk. And this is really pretty. I was really impressed by this. This is like a sweet, creamy vanilla with a little sweet hint of nutmeg that adds just that little bit of toastiness. It's really pretty. I think this will be a great, comforting, cool night in a bedroom scent where you don't know what to melt. You don't want pumpkin. You don't want apple. You don't want spice. This is just a very lightly seasoned vanilla. It's really pretty. I will totally enjoy that and melt that one. Next, the whole reason for the bundle is sweet plum pastry. This is my jam. I still have a ton of bars from the last Bring Back My Bar. This is one of my casualties from my club, so I don't have any more coming to me, but I have two fresh pours of sweet plum pastry that I will tuck away for safekeeping. But I have noticed, I don't know if this is because of the bundle and they're trying to, like, change the packaging but it has like this like different like disco sort of like colors like it's like purple squares it's interesting i don't know but the scent is still the same oh my favorite ever sweet plum pastry black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud beautiful and that doesn't seem like the same description that it always is i don't remember a marshmallow cloud but this is so pretty. If you love sweet plum pastry, you know. This is like a plum filling in a pastry. I don't get any of that like bakery note from it. I just get that rich, sweet, delicious plum filling. So one of my favorites. This very much intrigued me. Custard apple, pineapple, sugarcane, and mango capture the essence of custard apple. That's so odd. Oh. Hmm. This is like a sweet, like, pineapple, sugarcane, and mango. It's a custard apple, not like an actual, like, custard. Is a custard apple a type of an apple? Alexa, what is a custard apple? The sugar apple or sweet sop is the edible fruit of Anona squamosa, the most widely grown species of Anona and a native of tropical climate in the Americas and West Indies. Spanish traders aboard the Manila galleons docking in the Philippines brought it to Asia. The fruit is spherical conical, 5 to 10 centimeters in diameter and 6 to 10 centimeters long, and weighing 100 to 240 grams, with a thick rind composed of knobby segments. Okay. That was a weird, <laughs> that was a weird definition, but, mm, okay. I was expecting like a very creamy, like creme brulee with like a sweet apple, but this is pineapple, sugar, and mango. 
Very interesting. Um, not a fan. I thought I would like that, but I'm not. That was, that's, that's odd. It's very odd. Um, that sugar cane note is throwing me off in a lot of sense. Like, what was the one? The apple one. Apple teeny splash. Oh, that's simple syrup. Ooh, I, I don't care for that. Next, we have Autumn Stroll. I love this. Amble under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot, as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm wood incense to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. I love, this is the essence of fall. This is the essence. This is so pretty. This is warm, warm, warm spice. If you want a warm, cozy fall spice, Autumn Stroll for sure. It gives you craft store, but it gives you like crisp ozonic outdoors. It just is the entire essence of fall in a scent. It is so pretty. It's apple. It's like it says leaves, peppery cinnamon, plum, warm incense. I mean, it is everything you want it to be in fall. It's so pretty. This is in my club. It's not coming out. I love this. Delicious. Next. I still have a couple bars of this coconut pumpkin pie. This was in the last Bring Back My Bar, not the one that just happened in June, January's. This is so fascinating to me. This is fall's most delectable dessert, enjoys an unexpectedly exotic touch as pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, and maple sugar are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. It's a very creamy pumpkin pie. The coconut adds a very creamy note to the pumpkin, which is not my favorite, just being honest. It's a little funky, and I've melted it, and it's a little funky. So, either way, it's funky. And I just don't see how coconut blends with pumpkin that well. I will melt it, but it's not one that I just, like, crave. Next, we have Porch Pumpkin. Now, this one, I think I liked, I remember. This says... Oh, feels like pure fall. Take the top... Take to the top step with fresh picked pumpkin, acorns, and autumn air. Ooh, this is pretty. This There's no cinnamon. This isn't cinnamon... Like, this isn't a cinnamony fall pumpkin. This is much more of a fresh pumpkin. This is like a bright pumpkin. If a pumpkin could be bright, it is in Porch Pumpkin. And you know what's funny? With a name like Porch Pumpkin, maybe I'm like thinking it because that's what the name says. But I picture like, you know, whenever you first go to the store and you, or the pumpkin patch and you get your pumpkin and you put it on your porch and it looks beautiful because you spent all day coming out with that perfect pumpkin. This is like the essence of what that would be. It's really pretty, so excited for that one. And then another huckleberry. We have huckleberry apple pie. And this one is sweet apple and huckleberry topped with creamy vanilla make for a glorious and guilt-free fall indulgence. I like this. It's definitely apple pie mixed with a warm berry. But you totally get apple pie in the beginning. Totally. And I'm not mad at that. I like apple pie. I would like huckleberry pie. So why wouldn't I like huckleberry apple pie? It is. It's like a warm berry apple pie. And you've seen that, right? I've seen that before where there's like apple pies with berries mixed in them, which I think is a really unexpected twist because you get like that crisp apple and you get like that stop <laughs> burst of a sweet berry. So really yummy. Excited for that one. And last but not least, also one I'm very excited about, lemon coconut chiffon. This is beautiful. Melt in your mouth, lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. Ah, this is ultimate delicious bakery. If you like lemon cake, if you like coconut cake, you'll love this. This is like a shredded coconut cake with the, all that frosting and then a thick lemon curd in the middle. This is beautiful, and the color is awesome. It looks just like a lemon cake. I love it. It's so strong. Every time I melt it, oh, heaven. I'm really excited, and I have no more of that in my stash, so excited to have two more bars to melt for. I'm going to save this for next year because I'm already, like, 
more into like the warm fall scents slowly. But yeah, I'm gonna shut my laptop. And thank you guys so much for watching. Did you pick out anything from the flash sale slash harvest harvest sale? Warehouse sale, let me know. And I just want to give a huge shout out to my team, the Wickless Wax Empires on Lisa Roberry's team. I hope you guys have a safe travel to Sensi Family Reunion. I'm not going, um, I'm just not, Sensi isn't my number one, like it is a lot of everybody else's. It is my side thing. It is fun for me. I like reviewing the scents. I do love my Sensi, but maybe, who knows, in a couple years, maybe. It'll turn into more for me, but right now, it's just a fun little passion that I have. And, oh, I just noticed I have Hello Spring. Yeah, that needs to say Hello Fall. <laughs> I need to do that. And on that note, be kind, make it a better world, and I will see you guys next time. Subscribe, check that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I love you all so much. Bye.